For me, I'm afraid to say sell it, so I'll say mm. hold it, because uh, as, as, as she just reported, everything sort of hinges on VMware. This is a, a networking stock that leads in the semiconductor space in that area, but they need a software solution. So they need VMware. And also, Kelly, th this has been a very acquisitive company in the past, so they lead in software security, they lead networking um, so this is something where they sort of need this. What's interesting about the stock is it's above all its moving averages, and it's right around the level where the VMware deal was first announced. So this is the barometer level for the name. All right. We'll leave it there. Christina, thank you. And we'll turn our attention to the next one on tap, Costco, the retail giant, also up 5% this year, but 20% off its highs. And Charlie Munger last month saying he's still a total addict to the stock and that it will be a titan of e-commerce. We turn to Melissa Repco. Melissa, what are you watching? Hey, Kelly, the first thing I'll be watching is really membership pricing and membership trends. Costco has said it's not an if, it's a when, when it will raise membership fees. And so that's something that investors will be paying attention to because it drives the bulk of the company's revenue. The second thing is I'll be listening for foot traffic patterns. Costco has been a big beneficiary over the past couple of years for kind of a rolling list of reasons. First, you know, pantry, loading, then cheaper gas. And now people are turning to its stores for value packs and bulk sizing because they're, they're mindful of inflation. So we'll hear how that's going. And then the third thing could be a weaker point for Costco, and that's big ticket items. A lot of people have been pulling back on discretionary. That's something we heard most recently from Best Buy today. And so it'll be interesting to see if Costco is seeing that dynamic play out too. Great point. Steve, you're going against Charlie. You're, this is a sell for you? Yeah, this is a sell for me. I, you know, I don't like going against Charlie, but you, you have different timelines, different perspectives. This stock has been in a de declining trend line since April. So the world has been going against Charlie as well. And this is going to be the slowest growth, Kelly, in three years. Hmm. That, to me, Costco used to be a favorite of mine. Um, the, you know, when they up, up there on their subscriptions, it's like an annuity for the company. But the truth is they're trying to figure out pre-pandemic, during the pandemic, and now post. What are people going to buy? How are they going to hoard? And I think those hoarding days are somewhat over. Uh, let, let, just real quick, when we look at Broadcom, it's above all its moving averages. Costco is below all of its moving averages. Mm. Not a great technical setup either. Well, you know, he's, got a, he's 99, but he's got a longer, I guess we've got a long enough time horizon. Uh, Costco has been a name I think he was looking for, hoping for a pullback. But anyway, take your point. Let's move on to Nordstrom, the volatile retailer up 20% since Jan 1 after Ryan Cohen took a stake, but it carries 23% short interest. Be careful. Melissa, can anyone turn this around? Kelly, Nordstrom may have a rough day tomorrow. We already heard from the company that they had a weaker than expected holiday season. And of course, that makes up the bulk of the 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 quarter. So we'll be listening for what they expect in the full year. Will it continue to have a lot of markdowns? That was really its problem in the fourth quarter. So I'll listen for that. The other thing is it has a big off price name, Nordstrom Rack, and that's been lagging even the namesake brand. During the nine week period that ended in December, that actually underperformed its namesake. So can they turn that around? It's especially concerning in light of the success that TJX and some of those other off price names have reported. And then third, uh, last but not least, as you mentioned, Ryan Cohen has gotten involved with Nordstrom buying up a big stake and he is known for pushing for change. And he has talked uh, specifically about getting uh, the Bed Bath & Beyond former CEO Mark Tritton off their board, as well as pushing for some changes. So I'll be listening to see how Nordstrom responds to that. How do they plan to react and will they listen and make some changes? All right. See, we've had a hold and a sell from you. What would you do with Nordstrom? This is, this is a sell also. Ooh. And, and Ryan Cohen provided the only goose for the name, and, and the stock has already given up a lot of that charge that he had. So this one is actually between the 50 and the 100-day moving average, Kelly. But Ryan Cohen is the only tailwind for the name. Investors are not so much focused on cost-cutting where Ryan is or switching up the board. They're focused on a declining strategy for the business. So I think that's the real problem. Let's go back to 2017. They wanted to take the company private. They couldn't get the finance for it. So 
If you look at how long this has been in a declining trend line, it's been from March of 2021, Kelly. Mm. I don't think I don't think things are turning around anytime soon. All right. Um, Steve, by the way, you mentioned the VMware holdup for you with Broadcom. Would C3AI, which also reports after the bell, be a name that you'd want to pick up for its AI exposure or the stock's up 90 percent this year? Maybe it's run too far. Can you imagine having AI as your stock symbol, Kelly, in a world where the buzzword is AI? It's a perfect setup. And what makes me so bullish about it is the strategic collaboration agreement with AWS uh, and Amazon. It leaves them or it leads them to exposure to basically every different sector of the economy, specifically They'll mention defense and and other areas, but it really encompasses A through Z, every different industry. I think you're going to get a better entry point on this Hmm. one, but it is the purest play in AI that you could possibly get.